is going on, Knuckleheads? Got another unboxing for you today. So I'm just going to sit down and do this. Kind of impromptu one. And yes, I'm wearing a hat. I don't usually wear hats. But, kind of got it, you know? Going to the Super Bowl for the first time since 2000-something where we lost to Tom Brady. I hate Tom Brady. No, he's, he's the GOAT, but enough about Tom Brady, enough about the Eagles, now they're going to win the Super Bowl in two weeks. We got an unboxing. This box, if you can see, has seen better days. I don't know what people in the mail shipping business think. Um, I don't care if it's a $5 package or a $3,000 package. They should all be treated with respect and placed well. I can see letter mail getting tossed, whatever, but it literally looks like somebody took this box and punted it. Um, hopefully what's inside is not broken or damaged because I know what this is and I'm really excited about it because I've been reading about it on a certain person's uh, blog daily and it's been making me want it more and more. It's taken about way longer than it should to get here. Um, we actually, me and the maker actually thought it was lost because it just was taking forever. There was no tracking, it just stopped. So finally, got to take the parcel pickup slip on my door handle. So let's open this up. And actually before we do, I wanted to do something new here is just give some shout outs um, to a couple of things on Instagram. Um, if you're not on Instagram, you really should. There's a ton of giveaways, great shave of the day pictures on Instagram, not just for me, from tons of people. Um, at Latherhog is doing a 500 follower giveaway. I think it's a $25 US gift card at Maggard's, which is pretty sweet. Sheer Monic, um, soap company is doing a giveaway once they reach their thousands of followers. So get on that. And Blackland Razors is giving away a razor. Um, I just saw this one just now. I can't, it's one of their single edge ones. I think it's like a $200 razor. Looks awesome. Um, but yeah, look those up. So yeah, just a heads up on those. Um, don't know why I'm doing this, because if you guys see that and go on it and do those, it gives me less of a chance to win. Just kidding, no. Good luck, get in on those. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. I know what this is, this is a double edge, a high-end double edge safety razor. One that you don't hear much about here in North America, um, made in Portugal. Um, Portugal is also where they make I believe Latoya is Port from Portugal, so I may have to use Latoya tomorrow with this razor. Um, it's finally going to unseat my uh, Supply 2.0 razor, just because if I get something new in the mail, I've got to use it right away. That's just how it goes. Okay, so we got the razor here, and what it is, is the, well, there's the form here. I'm just looking up to see if it says where it went, where it's traveled. Anyways, it's probably seen, seen more of the world than I have. So, open it up, tissue paper, well packaged, I don't know if you can see that, a little emblem there, this is, I don't know what that is, um, the Tatara razor, this is a Massimune it's called, so Tatara is actually a furnace where they smelted iron and steel in Japan, it's named the furnace, and the Massamune, if you look it up, he was known as the, one of the greatest swordsmiths and dagger makers in all of Japan. So that's where they get the name from. I can't take off my hat because it's casting a shadow. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that beautiful hat head. Anyways, nobody's looking at me anyways. You guys want to see this. Really nice, uh, really cool. I love like touches like that, like the stamp stuff. That's pretty awesome. As you can see, I'm taking lots of care to make sure I don't wreck the black tissue paper. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's a solid wooden box. This is freaking cool. When you get a premium safety razor, you should have premium cases. Um, just putting that out there. If people are paying more than 150, 200 bucks for a razor, you need to up your packaging game. This is this is awesome. I've seen pictures of it, but in person, it's oh look at it's like a magnetic opening. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Ooh, that is the Massimoon razor from Tatara. So it comes with a couple of blades, a couple of feathers. Sweet. They like blood, apparently. Um, no, it makes sense, though. Kind of Japanese name. Um, I can't get over this case. This is freaking awesome. Like, look at, like, oh, yeah, it does come apart, but, like, that is the best case I've seen for a razor so far. The, and that's actually, like, burnt into there. Little salt, the uh, ninja, or probably being racist saying that. Maybe it's uh, a Japanese warrior. There we go. Um, and let's have a look at, the, oh my God, this razor. These are actually all numbered as well. I don't know if you can see that on there. They got the figure there on the one side. And on the other side, they have the number. This is number 28. I actually opted for the open comb model. And this is 378 CNC machined stainless steel. The weight on it's really nice. I'd say it's probably gotta be around 100, maybe a little bit more than 100 grams. Yeah, probably 100 or so. There's all these little dimples, these spherical dimples in there. It's amazingly grippy, like it's really cool. And it is, yeah, it is absolutely flawless, the handle. Yeah, it is flawless in the head. Let's have a look here. If you look at that handle. It almost looks like one of those like retro golf balls. You know when you go golfing, you find like a golf ball that looks like it's been sitting there for about 30 years with the dimples that are like actually far apart, not touching. Kind of reminds me of that, but man, that's awesome. And the head is just beautiful. Perfect. Like, oh. See, when you get it, this is the difference between a Entry level, mid level razor, and a premium high end razor is this. Like, absolute perfection. And it's got a pr pr proprieta pr pr proprietary kind of a head, how it works. Because I don't think you can use these, this handle or this head on another razor. I'm not sure. I'll give it a look, try, but I think um, Daily Lather said you couldn't, I believe. I could be wrong, but let's have a. Oh yeah, so it's recess. It doesn't go all the way through. The base plate, the pegs are on the top cap, which is actually really cool. And it, oh, and see that like that's it like locks it in. And then this part, I think that's why he said it doesn't work because the bulb on here won't go all the way in. It actually screws up into yeah, it goes into the top cap. Well, the base plate, sorry. So it goes right up into there, locking it in. Which, oh my god, this is freaking cool. What a beauty. Nice open comb razor. If you can see that. I don't know why I do the hand thing. Everybody does that. I know in all of shaving videos, people do this to see it better. I don't know if it actually works. Like, I think you see that just as, oh, maybe they're covering their faces. So you don't have to look at them. That's, that's probably it. <laughs> no, but this is, wow. Wow. Um, I was sent this um, from Tatara to review, and I'm glad I'm going to get a chance to do this um, before I see a ton of reviews out, um, just so I don't have any influence on my thoughts or anything like that. Not that I ever would, but you know, sometimes you read stuff and you get overhyped about certain things, but this razor, oh my god, I was trying so hard not to read Daily Lathers because I saw that he had it and I didn't want to know what it was like. But I kind of did too. But the weight on this is awesome. The heft. Um, I like this length of the handle as well. It's probably like a three and a half, three and a half inch handle, I would say. Yeah, probably around there. Great weight, and just the finish on this is absolutely perfect. Like stunning. I wonder if they'll get some wear maybe on the top lip here, just because you're screwing it in there. But it seems like there's enough room when you're screwing it in if you hold the top cap there that's not gonna like bang around and rub and you're not gonna see it anyway but just like really nice no sharp spots like oh. look at that I, I love that it's numbered 
if you actually, I'll do it again. Number 28, it says there. And then this, the dude on the other side, the Japanese warrior, like just little things like that. So we'll put, a, put a rage like this above, say, like an Edwin Jagger or another Mule or Mercure. Just the little things like that really impress me. And just on first impressions, this razor is freaking awesome. Looks beautiful. Kind of like that matte finish. Not super shiny or anything like that, but oh, beautiful razor. And the box it comes in. This is ridiculous. Like, look at that. Is a, it's a block of wood with like magnets and stuff in it. Like, come on, like this is next level. This is what all razors, high end razors, just come in stuff like this. Like, like this. Like, sorry, I think I'm saying like a lot, but I'm just super duper impressed with this razor so far. I cannot wait to shave with it. I will be using it tomorrow, so there'll probably be a shave of the day pick in this video, as well as some more. I'll maybe take some pictures off the website, take some on my own, just so you can see some more pictures of it. I'll put the link to the website there, um, so you can have a look at these. I think they sold out of their first batch, now they're doing a pre-order for ones that are coming out in February. So I'll try to get a review, a quick review or something, a shave with it maybe on video. So if you guys want to get one, you can get in on it, so I don't know how fast these are going to sell out. But after seeing the packaging and just the looks of the razor and how like flawless it is, um, I think they're gonna sell out pretty quick. I think the price, if I'm not mistaken, is around 200 bucks. Around there, I think you can get a, I think you can get a stand. No, is there a stand for this one. I'm not sure if there's a stand, but I think it's around 200 bucks, maybe a little bit more. But from what I can see, like it is absolutely high end in every single way. They didn't cut corners. Um, you see embossed logo on there. Even like the wax. That's like awesome. I am so impressed by this. Um, kind of like I was impressed by Troop and Hill packaging. Like it's just, that stuff does make it, I think it goes a long way. And I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. Packaging is, you eat with your eyes first. Like just like food. You see something, you'll want it. If it doesn't look good, you're not going to be drawn to it. This looks super high end. And I can't read it now. This looks incredible. Um, just like the supply range looked amazing. The uh, modern chain product range look, looked awesome. This is, there's a reason this is over 200 bucks. The box itself is probably worth 50 bucks. Like it's that nice. I am so excited to use it. 378 stainless steel machined. Um, number 28 razor with open home. I can let you go because I just want to take some pictures of this, get it ready for tomorrow morning shave because there's no way I'm not using this. Um, and stay tuned because I will be doing a supply razor review soon because I've used it four shades in a row. Just a hint, it is awesome as well for a single edge razor versus modern one. But today it's all about this. The Tatara Masamune Razor. If there's anybody that's Japanese that follows my channel, let me know how bad my pronunciation of that is. I like at Tatara. Um, I eat a lot of sushi, so I kind of know some of the not slang, the uh, accent and stuff like that. But anyway, this has nothing to do with that. The Masamune from Tatara Razor is absolutely incredible out of Portugal. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night. I'm super pumped about this. As you can tell, I'm finally glad it's finally here. Like, literally, it was. I think two months it took to get here, so I think it's seen all of Canada, probably all of Europe. Maybe maybe it went to Asia for a little bit. Um, if it went to the North Pole, don't know, but yeah. Amazing razor, horrible post office people. I don't know how they can get away with it. Um, I'm just glad there's nothing damaged in here. Because if it had taken two months to get here and had been broke or something like that, I would have been shattered. I would have been so angry, but it's here. I'm happy. I can forget about the shitty shipping because I've had other stuff to do since waiting for this one. So see ya again. I'm going to say bye. But yeah, take your easy, guys. I'm overexcited. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Take your easy, Knuckleheads. Cheers.